chill here in the Middle Ages. Welcome to Robert's Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, NASCAR Xfinity Series Superstar Batteries 188 this Saturday on the road course at Daytona. 187.72 miles, three stages, 52 laps total, 15, 15, and 22. Last year's winner was Austin Sendrick. Stage one was won by Austin Sendrick. Stage two was won by Chase Briscoe. Now, one cool fact, and I said this in the Truck Series video as well, the three winners of the tri triple hitter last weekend in Daytona Road Course, Sheldon Creed, Austin Sendrick, Chase Elliott, the same three that went on to win the championship for each of their divisions. Now, last year in 2020, there were three road courses in the, in the, in the Xfinity Series. There was four in 2019. Of those seven races, Austin Sendrick has won four, with an average finish at 2.14. A.J. Allmendinger entered five, won two, with an average finish at 2.2. Noah Gregson entered seven, with an average finish of 4.8. Christopher Bell won the other race of those seven. Now, as we look back on Daytona, one thing I'm going to do here on Harvard's Report Show is I'm going to go over who's in the playoffs at this time. So. The 12 drivers right now that are in the playoff is going to be Austin Cedric with the win at Daytona. That was Roger Penske's first ever Daytona Xfinity win. Brandon Brown, Harrison Burton, Jet Burton, Matt Snyder, Daniel Hemrick, AJ Allmendinger, Joe Crack Jr., Kyle Waterman, Weatherman, Matt Mills, Jesse Little, and Ryan Herfs. Those drivers are currently in the top 12 in points. Now, drivers that had great finishes at Daytona that are not running the full season. Ty Dillon in the 54 Joe Gibbs car. He finished, I believe it was top five. He was second in points. With, he's scheduled to race four races this year. Brandon Godovic in the 26. He's scheduled to race six. Jason White scheduled to race one race. He had the top ten. Cesar Barkelli has in the 90 car scheduled to race seven races this year. And Stephen Parsons, scheduled to race three races this year. Well, all those had great finishes at Daytona. Austin Zenrick started on the pole because the qualifying was washed out, went on to win the race. Now the one driver that really, the current rules have really hurt in the Xfinity Series this year is Jordan Anderson. Uh, Jordan Anderson decided to go Xfinity racing, so he bought cars for Richard Childress Racing, He's using, getting releasing motors from ECR or an arch to children's rate uh, engine department. Problem is, qualifying was rained out at Daytona, so he couldn't qualify. Very new team, no points. It is going to be May at Coda before he is able to qualify again. Because of lack of owner points, because he not there, hasn't been there, new team. No matter what happens at Coda, he's going to have to wait for the next race that you can qualify for in order to build up enough owner points to be able to go in on owner points. Hopefully he can go back to the truck series with a sponsor Bob Moreno Auto Group out of St. Louis and get some wins, put them put the sponsor on the map, let the sponsor know, hey I'm there for you. It's sometimes it's kinda of hard for drivers like that who are trying to do it the right way, who are busting their butt but now they can't because the rules don't allow them. So hopefully, as this pandemic lessens and we have more qualifying, drivers said that Jordan Anderson will be able to make these races. What I think they should do is you fill out an entry form for a race. Say 45 people said they want to race and they your race. We all know they're not all going to finish. Let them all start. What does it hurt? Yes, it's prize money, but guess what? Those guys and girls are working hard, building cars, trying to make a living in racing. If you have 40 cars on the track or 45, we all know some of those cars will go out. I'm not going to use the word start and park like they used to, but you know it's going to happen. Things like that will happen on some of the lower teams. If you make it, if you fill out the paperwork to be at the race, let them race. This is my opinion. Now, Austin Cedric, he's going for two in a row. He's a road course master and won 4-7. 
in the Xfinity Series, two drivers have won the first two races of the year. 2008, Tony Stewart did it. In 1995, Chad Little did it. Chad Little ended up finishing second in points that year. He started off with two wins. Can Austin Cedric do it? We'll see. That one of my three picks is Austin Cedric, AJ Allmendinger, Noah Gregson. Now, like I mentioned, the top 12 in points, as we know, Austin Cedric has already clinched his spot in the playoffs. AJ Allmendinger is currently seventh. Noah Gregson was 32nd at Daytona. So if he can pop up and win, it's going to just take another one of those spots. Hopefully we get, you know, all these different winners in. Maybe we'll get a year of nothing but Xfinity Series drivers win and they all make the playoffs. Could you imagine 12, 13 different Xfinity drivers win races? So we actually have somebody win a race and not make the playoffs? First time ever that could happen this year. So, A.J. Allmendinger, I think he's going to have a great one. He's also running the Cup Series, so we'll see what happens there. Um, my pitch for Daytona fizzled out. Didn't do well. I'm 0-3. No problem. I'm back again. We'll see what happens. As we get to the road horses and to the intermediate and the short tracks, I think if you keep watching our Robert Sports Show, you'll see that I'm going to be able to have, you know, one of my three picks will be able to win. Um, obviously, Daytona is a beast in itself. Austin Cindric wasn't expecting, I mean, Penske is number one at Daytona. <laughs> so that really wasn't a person I was going to necessarily pick, but I'm glad he won. Um, he's got big planes next year, the 21 Wood Bros car. Um, so yeah, so that's going to be the Superstar Batteries 188 NASCAR Trinity Series on Saturday. Stay tuned to Harvard Sports Show for the Cup Series. Make sure you check out the Truck Series as well. As always, thanks for watching the Harvard Sports Show. Don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channel content.